After realizing that obsessively planning out my life is what I do to fill the void that should probably be filled by therapy, I asked for a bullet journal for Christmas, received one from my lovely parents, and began my pre-bullet journal planning in this notebook. I know, I know, planning out how I would fill out the bullet journal I would then use to plan my next year? Yeah, there's a pattern going on here. I love planning. And once the planning stage was done, I hesitated a bit more before finally putting pen to paper and beginning my 2020 bullet journal setup. This is my first ever bullet journal, so I would just like to disclaim by saying I am no Pinterest perfection, but I'm actually pretty proud of how my pages turned out, so grab your bullet journal, utensils, I mean markers and pens, and lastly something to watch. Well, hopefully you're watching me, as in this video, but I got something to watch because this took me way too many hours. Alright, so firstly, most journals come with a who this book belongs to page, but mine didn't, so I decided to make my own. And admittedly, I did steal this page directly from Pinterest, but um, hey, I also added my own flair by coloring in the book pages. I know everyone does like a minimalist bullet journal theme, and I really love that, but I also love color, so I really struggled with what kind of theme I was going to do, and I decided on a minimal yet colorful look. You'll understand as we go along. For this page, I decided to do a kind of welcome to 2020 title page, minus the welcome to, it just says 2020. And at this point, I wasn't really overthinking my design and just kind of went for it, which I think works really well for this page, but as you'll see later in the video, that strategy did not always work out for me. Then I added some decorative colorful lines around the edges. I have a set of brush pens that are colorful, but not bright, if that makes sense. I don't know, I just think they look really nice together, and I decided to do a full rainbow on this page to kind of establish my color palette, since these are the colors I'll be using throughout my bullet journal setup. Now for a bit more of a boring page, this is the index. I tried to freehand the title like I did on the previous page, but I guess numbers are a lot easier than letters because I don't love how this title came out. My X admittedly looks a bit wonky. But besides that, I decided on a really simple index setup since the previous page is so colorful. I just added some nice blue stripes down the side. And since this is my first bullet journal and I don't know quite how much space I'll need for my index, I left the other page in the spread blank, just in case I end up needing that much space. And if later on I realize I don't need this much space for an index, I'll probably go back and add some doodles or a quote or just generally some more decoration since the page is so simple. Next up is a yearly overview calendar page, which after watching hours of bullet journal videos, I learned is called a future log. Now I know, I know what you're probably thinking, I'm really killing this page. I'm, I'm actually not, <laughs> and you probably weren't thinking that, but off camera I secretly spent like an hour trying to draw this a million times in pencil, but I'm actually glad I did because I really like this geometric look. And it is symbolic of the symbols I'm going to be using for my calendar. I chose yellow circles for holidays, red triangles for birthdays, and blue squares for personal events. I had to use another page to finish up my months, partially because I did a big title design, and also because I didn't want the crowded look of having it all on one spread. Now next to my future log, I'm doing a wheel for birthdays, which I know seems repetitive considering I already marked them all in my future log, but one thing I love is birthdays. Me and my roommates go hard on birthdays. This past year, we threw surprise parties for everyone, so I wanted a space to list out friends and loved ones birthdays that I'm really close to that I might actually throw a party for or do a big gift so I can use this space to brainstorm gift and party ideas. I unfortunately didn't realize that this green color was going to bleed through, but no fear, that is why we have whiteout. Foreshadowing, this uh, isn't the last time I'm going to use whiteout in this video. 
after completely botching the title by spelling currently wrong, yes I know I do have a pea brain, I decided whiting out the entire thing wouldn't look the best so I opted for writing the title on purple construction paper and gluing it on to fix my mess. And I made sure to practice the title a lot this time. I actually think the page turned out better with the construction paper edition. It made the title stand out really well from the rest of the page, which is just in pen. I also realized I haven't explained what this page is yet. So on the left side is a list of my currents, as in current shows I'm watching, current goals, current music favorites, things like that. And on the other side of the spread, I'll list the same categories, but we'll fill them out around this time next year so I can compare my interests and goals from the start to the end of 2020 when we go into 2021. Whoa, 2021 just sounds like a futuristic, like fake date. Tell me I'm wrong. The next spread is the one I think I'm most excited about. It's my year in Polaroids, so for each month I'll glue in my favorite Polaroid that I took that month. I think this is going to be really cool to look back on and will also motivate me to use my Polaroid camera more because I often just completely forget to bring it places. I got this page idea from Amanda Rochley who is the bullet journal goddess and I ended up doing this spread over two pages. I probably could have fit it all over one's full page, but I like how spaced out it is. It gives me more room to decorate and I think it will help the pictures individually stand out more. I would also just like to reiterate how all of my pages feature different colors, but they all tie back to my Welcome to 2020 title page, color palette, and on the note of colors, the next page features three different colors that are also from this color palette, and they make up my year in videos page. I got this page idea from Best Dressed and I love, love, love this spread idea. It will allow me to plan out what videos I want to post each month on YouTube and when I get to filling out this page, I will most definitely be doing it in pencil because I am constantly changing my mind on when and what I'll be posting each week. I think once I get into my monthly spreads, I'm going to do a lot more in-depth YouTube posting schedule spread that will allow me to explore and brainstorm ideas for each month, but I love that this spread gives me a good overview of what my channel will look like for the next year. I'm going to use this next spread to track my finances. The left side will be for bills, while on the right I'll track my income. I somehow spend way too much money every month and I don't even know on what, so I think it will be super helpful in helping me to figure out where exactly I need to cut down on my spending. I went for a blue and green color palette, green because money and blue because it complements green well. Next, I'm just listing out all the months of the year and then what categories I currently spend money in. I also left a good amount of blank space at the bottom of both the bills and income pages so I can go back in later and add more categories if needed. I'm graduating college this year, so I have a feeling the things I spend money on now as well as my sources of income could change significantly over the course of the year. And then lastly is my pen tester page. This is actually the first page I ever did in my bullet journal. I drew it out before I decided I wanted to make a video on my 2020 setup, so unfortunately I don't have footage of how I drew it all out. But I decided to put it at the end of my pages as I don't think it's a particularly important page that I would want to be the first thing someone saw if they were looking through my bullet journal. But I do reference it to figure out which colors exactly I want to use on each page. And as you can see, I wrote the name of each color around the swatch in a circle so I can easily identify which marker it corresponds to. All right, here is a flip through of my finished 2020 bullet journal setup. I'm actually really proud of how this turned out, especially considering it's my first ever bullet journal and I'm even more excited to use it. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys want to see more bullet journal videos from me and also if you guys have any page or theme ideas and suggestions for me as I get into my monthly spreads. I'm looking for some really cool, fun pages that are actually practical and that I will use. And yeah, I'm excited to start off my new year right with some planning and journaling. All right, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>